It's the last day of Funko Fair. What was the hot item of the day? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas of gas. We're glad you're there. So you get the right time. We got an all time line. Couples, hot toys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around. Like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. I hate this carpet so much. I don't. God. Ah. Remember how bad you wanted it? I really like the shag carpet, but when it comes to the wheeling around, it sucks. That it's horrible for right here. Are you wearing shoulder pads? No, it's my shirt. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize you were a pirate all day. I like it. It's a good look. Thank you. <laughs> for the 1700s. I pulled my peg leg off for the video. All right, cool. Today was Funko Fair day three. And I like how they did Funko Fair this time. Not a bunch of days in a row. They made it every Wednesday for three weeks. I think that's cool. And I think they did it to make it seem less overwhelming, but it's overwhelming super overwhelming and today's overwhelming set came from Star Wars and we're going to talk about all the cool Star Wars Funko Pops but there is one item that dropped today that I think is going to be the hot item of all of Funko Fair before we get into the hot item and everything else having to do with Funko Fair, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you know anytime we post a video hit the like button because you're gonna love it and also hit the little bell that way you know anytime that we go live or post new content and we post new content every single day head over to sevenbuckspop.com every wednesday friday and sunday that's when they do their big pop drops and you can pick yourself up a badass grail and while you're there pick up a pop shield armor to protect that grail and i don't want to forget to mention they actually have pop shields for your luffy on sunny on mary they got, they got, they'll cover all your boots. All your loofahs on your boats. Hey, I was sailing with Luffy I'm earlier. <laughs> no, you belong on Luffy's ship. We are going to get into all the Funko Fair madness, but I know that you guys are dying to hear what we thought about that Eddie restock or stocking at That's Cheap in California. And holy in case you missed it, there were a ton of Eddies that stocked at a store called That's Cheap in Sacramento, California. We're not going to go into too much detail because we have a really cool video coming out about that exact topic probably this weekend or early next week. And you'll see why we're waiting once that video comes out. So make sure you stay tuned. Again, hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you know when we post it. But apparently they were like $8 a piece. Yeah, and this is the perfect time to say, we told you so. Yep. So what do you think of that? Remember when we said they would restock Eddie? We were right, and then we were also wrong. They didn't restock Eddie at Target Hardcore. But that's but because... That's because too much time had passed and Target right. zeroes out their items. Yes, yeah, so then it ends up in these cheapy stores. So that's how it got to whatever that place is called, the, the, the discounters. That's cheap. that's cheap. To all of you who have continuously commented on our Eddie video saying, where's Eddie? Suck Hey. This. That was the most aggressive hump I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I think I might have a bruise. All right, so today was all about Star Wars and there were a lot of really great pops. There's a bunch of single pops here that I kind of like. Luke Skywalker holding a blaster, which I don't think we've ever gotten a Luke Skywalker holding a blaster. He literally always holds a lightsaber. a blaster? He's got a blaster in his hand. I was hoping you could give me a blaster later. No, no, it's it's a gun. He's holding a gun. So do you want me to hold a gun later? Is that what you're saying? Your love gun. I don't have a love gun. What the fuck are you talking about? I learned from role models that Kiss does that song called Love Gun and he's talking about his We're not talking about it. We're talking about Luke Skywalker has a gun. I want your love gun blaster. <laughs> 
But look at this. It's Darth Vader when he's laying down at the end of Return of the Jedi, dying. Isn't it exciting when Funko gives us a really depressing moment like this where a character is dying? dying. There's also another Ewok and C-3PO being a king in the Ewok village. We'll skip over that. There's also a hologram Luke Skywalker again, no weapon in hand. And he's holding out his hand basically to show you that there's no weapon. Oh look, there's a space elephant. Okay, that's Max Rebo and he's f***ing awesome and he has d***s for fingers. And he has a really weird d nose. Now I don't collect many Star Wars Funko Pops, but I want to say Max Rebo is definitely mine. I also want the Ewok playing all the helmets like drums because that's f***ing awesome. Look at the Emperor! Isn't he cool? He's sitting in his throne chair. Okay, my favorite thing of the entire day practically, I think actually it's number two. We're gonna get to my number one. Jabba the Hutt with salacious crumb. How f cool is that? I like that. Is he smoking weed? No, he has a hookah and he's also got like a drink in his hand. Oh, but I bet you he's high as f Probably he is a, a, a crime lord, I would you imagine so. You know what he would go good with? Snoop Dogg. They could share that hookah. It's about time that we got an updated Jabba, and this Jabba is amazing. I love that he's sitting on like his little platform. He's got Salacious Crumb. You, have you ever seen Salacious Crumb from Return of the Jedi? Yeah, I see. Can, can I give you my best impression? Oh, God. He does this. <clears throat> his hair's a little messed up. My hair's not messed up. <laughs> Thank you. My whole life is. <laughs> And then there's the moment with Luke Skywalker and Vader fighting at the end of Return of the Jedi. And the reason why there's a bunch of Return of the Jedi stuff is because it's the 40th anniversary. Fun fact, my mom was pregnant with me and she went to see Return of the Jedi with my dad. So technically, I saw Return of the Jedi in a theater in 83. What do you think of that? No, you didn't. You saw the inside of your mom's belly. I heard Return of the Jedi. That's why I play such a good salacious crumb. <laughs> See? What if the whole time your mom was like farting and all you heard were like farts? <laughs> like for the whole movie. Okay, number one, my mom does not fart. There's no jokes about what that. What if she did? My mom does not fart. What if? My mom doesn't wait, even poop. Listen, do you understand that? I do understand My mom that. does not fart no, or no, no, poop. No, listen. Never even heard her burp before. Listen, but what if it all ended when she gave birth to you? She stopped farting and pooping when you came out. Because you were the biggest piece of so you know what's really, really cool about this moment is Reese O'Brien actually tweeted, fun fact, we deliberately designed the Vader slash Luke Return of the Jedi dual scene to have enough room in the back of the base to place the Palpatine pop. So you're going to want to order both. That is f cool. Thank you, Reese O'Brien. Now that's some pretty cool thinking there. Okay, I just have a real good question for you right now. Okay. Are you ready to dance with me? Barge, barge party! Wait, what? It's a barge party from Return of the Jedi. I'll get to it. Just dance with me. Wait, serious question. Is the space elephant going to be there? I can't hear you. I'm barge partying. Okay, see you later. Come on, just barge party with me. Answer my question. Max Rebo, I think he's there. Yeah, he's playing the f***ing thing with his f***ing. You're not still going? No, we're done. We're done. Hey, it's a barge from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. So now you're going to have a barge that you can put together with all the various characters. I told you time and time again that I absolutely f***ing hate that they do this. But guess what? Loving this, loving it hardcore. Hard. I'm hard. I get it. It doesn't look like it. Can we just skip over all the WWE sh Okay, I really like the guy with the fire-looking the guy. The guy looks like um, the sun. Yeah, I like that. And then that. there's a tattooed girl, and then there's a girl with like a long hair. And then there's, I think that's the rock. And then there's this guy. Oh, there's a chase. Yeah, there's it's, a chase. Oh, he's diamond. Game stuff. I then, like how his mummy's flowing. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, and then there's Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. There's Freddy Funko with candy inside of him. Did they not learn their lesson with the Funko cereal. And then there's a Batman, a Joker, and a Wonder Woman with candy inside of them. This is so f***ing stupid. And then there's some Care Bears with candy inside of them. This is f***ing stupid. What do you think this is going to taste like anyway? 
Can we just continue? So we're getting a Scarlet Witch, mm -hmm. and she's, I don't know, was she covered in black in the film? I thought she was covered in blood. No, it was black, and I forget why. Was it the robots that she was destroying, and it was getting their oil all over her or something? I don't know. Don't ask me the specifics, but I remember that scene, and I remember that, like, specific, like, outfit and everything, and it's f***ing awesome. And it is cool, glows. and it glows. Then there's another Scarlet Witch that nests together. It's a Civil War Scarlet Witch. I want to know, like, who has the space to display multiples of these? I mean, why can't we just get that pop and call it a day? Why do we have to, like, build a whole set? How about Willow? Those are really cool looking. I don't know the first thing about Willow. I like the skull guy. This, this is a great set. I'm really glad that they decided not to do the TV show. Because the TV show is f***ing horrible. And I tried watching it. I could not watch it. I gave up on it. There is something totally wrong with the show. I don't know who decided to put that together, but I'm pretty sure it was put together by aliens. Is it like, you know, when they do those things where they tell a computer a story and the computer yes. writes it? It's an AI story. Yeah. That's exactly what that shit is. I suggest you do not waste your time with Willow, Willow because it's bad. It's very bad. The, the TV the, show. TV show. Movie's good. I really love the What We Do in the Shadows Pops. Me too, and I know nothing about any of these characters. Me I've never watched the show ever, but they all look really great, and I hear that the show is hilarious. Me too, I don't I know hear, why we haven't watched hear it. How, I hear that the film is hilarious. The film was originally done by Taika Waititi. I love him. Me too. Taika Waititi's. I like to call him that because I like him a lot, and a lot of people like titties, so I put the two together. I like titties too. Yeah, Taika Waititi. But I don't know anything about the show, so the only thing I can say is, hey, they look cool. Honestly, the guy in the center with the steak, I thought it was the guy from Big Bang Theory. Oh. Uh, it Doesn't does it look, like, look him. like him. I swore it was him. How about this Hendrix gold figure, Black Light? He's awesome, and I really love his, like, bandana thing. Around his uh, pant leg? Yeah. Yeah, this is great. I like this one. I hate gold figures for the most part, but I really like this one. I think it's fun and have these cool colors. He's awesome. I read somewhere that there's a chase, but I've seen no pictures of a chase anywhere. So I don't know what that means. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, maybe people are assuming that there's a chase when there's not. Then there's Cindy Lauper. Do you remember what song Cindy Lauper does? Girls just want to have fun. Is that what she does? For real? Yes. Okay, you like Cindy Lauper? She's fine. You like this Funko Pop? She's cool. All right, She's let's keep cute. moving then. Okay, there's a share common and a diamond edition share from Amazon. What do you think of that? She's fine. I don't really care that much, although it looks like she's not really wearing anything, so you can probably see the butt. Ooh, okay. So that's pretty cool. I like a good butt. Poor move on Funko's part. Again, I've talked about this before, but I don't think they should be showing commons with variants like that, only because my feelings are people will most likely skip out on the common and just buy the variant. Right, exactly. I do not understand why Funko does this, and this is the way they do announcements. I would have just shown the common one, and mm -hmm. then bring out the Amazon one down the road. Yeah. I mean, it is nice for the buyer because they're not spending their money on the common. They can just wait to get the diamond if that's what they prefer. If, Bad business If move only Funko. Funko could turn back time mm -hmm. and then they could find their way to only post the common share. <laughs> Bruto, and it looks like it's a collectible set that connects. Who gives a f And then there's a Marty McFly. I like this soda. I just feel like this is kind of boring. The common and the chase, yeah, there's not a crazy difference. I mean, I prefer the chase over the common. I love his hat. I do too, but can I just say what I think they should have done? I feel like the common should have had long sleeves on it when he's drying. Yeah! And then the chase could have been the regular one wearing the hat. Or vice versa. Or yeah. vice versa. That'd be cool. How cool would that That'd have been? That'd be so cool. All right, the number one of the day. I promised you I would tell you what the number one piece of the day would be. And it's the Dustin, Eddie, and Demo Bats from, or Demo Bats? Demo, Demo Bats. Bats? Demo Bats? Yeah, like Demogorgon, Demo De Bats. Oh, Demo, I'm so stupid. I know you and are. Demo and Demo Bats from Stranger Things. People love Eddie. We, in fact, we just opened the video talking about Eddie a little bit because people were so wild about Eddie. I honestly think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen come out of the Stranger Things line. I don't typically like these things, like the big sets and everything. This one I like because 
not only do you have some heroes, but you got a bunch of the different little villains coming and flying in. And it's a great little background. I think it captures that moment perfectly. It's upside down right there. Well, there's upside down everywhere, but I really like the what they did for the bottom with the upside down. That's awesome. I love it. It's just a great piece all around. It's so good. And even better, this is a common. And one thing we have not mentioned at all during this video is that you can actually head over to poppinofftoys.com and use promo code GASOK to get 10% off. Additionally, you can use that code on all of the commons that were announced today if they're on poppingofftoys.com. You should go over there and check it out and use the promo code GASOCAST to get the money off. And if you're a level four patron, you get 15% off. So don't forget to use your code patrons. All right, so favorite thing of the day? Yes. Excellent, me too. I think that's the best thing of the day. My number two or maybe even neck and neck is that Jabba the Hutt set. That thing is awesome. I ordered the Jabba. I ordered the dual scene, and I ordered this Stranger Things set. Did Not, you order the Emperor? No, I need to order the Emperor. You need to order the Emperor. Now I need to order, well guess what, I'm ordering two Emperors, because I ordered two of everything else I just mentioned, because we're gonna be giving all that away on Patreon, that's right. So again, if you wanna join our Patreon and win some awesome gear like this, head over to patreon.com slash castlecast. It supports this channel in such a huge way, and you get some really, really cool perks in return. So go and check out patreon.com slash gasocast. Wow, what a day and what a Funko Fair. This was a great Funko Fair. I really enjoyed, as I mentioned before, seeing that it was spread out. It actually made our videos, I think, a lot better because when we have to do each day in a row, it really tires us out. So thank you, Funko, for that so we can cover this event a lot more easy. Because you said that, Funko is gonna make their next thing back to back to back because uh, they f***ing hate us. I don't think they hate us. I think they do. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. if, if, if you wanna say that they hate us, I mean, at one point in time, our words meant a lot. And we ended up correcting one of their Funko Pops. I mean, they can't hate us too much, right? Yeah, they can. I don't think so. We p point out a flaw. They changed it, and I think they changed it because they love us so much, and they're like, oh my god, Gas of Gas knows what they're talking about. What do you think? And if you watched our video two days ago, you would have seen I got a bunch of gear with this certificate on it. So go and check out that video if you haven't already, because this certificate's getting around. What was your favorite Funko Fair item that was announced today, and what was your all-time favorite that was announced overall during Funko Fair? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our amazing patrons for Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to... George Shehede, Garrett aka FastMo24, Michelle D, Mir A, Rulies, Chris Restivo, Jimmy Tauber, Brian Dill, Dirty Deuce, and Marshall Owens. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons you guys rock another big shout out to our patrons we love you guys so much and remember as always we are together yes we'll catch you next time bye